to vlog the night shift. <laughs> it's nine o'clock right now. Vivian's already asleep. She's right here. <laughs> She's already asleep. Um, Kyla is not asleep, unfortunately. She's we're still trying to get her into a routine. Some nights are easier than others. Tonight is one of those nights where she's still awake. So she's in the living room with my parents. Um, I'm just kind of getting everything ready in the room for when I have both of them in here. But yeah, I'm going to attempt to vlog, which is kind of silly because like I've seen um, other moms on TikTok who literally will do this every single night and I just can't imagine having to set up the tripod and the lights just to film you getting up out of bed to go get your crying baby like I don't I don't know how this video is gonna be like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the camera not on all night obviously because the battery's gonna die but I'm going to leave the camera on um my nightstand and if i remember to turn it on i will remember to turn it on but we'll see doing this solely for the purpose of remembering these nights because you know that quote where honestly this is what is keeping me this is what am i trying to say oh, backtrack if you guys don't know when i got my c-section i also got a tubal ligation so i got my tubes tied um alvin and i decided that Kyla was going to be our last baby and so you know I'm trying to cherish the moments if you will but what is that quote that I like really really live oh so the nights are long but the years are short or something like that you know you get my you get my uh, you get my drift but that is one of the quotes that I constantly am like replaying in my head whenever I am exhausted at 3 a.m. Another thing too is like a lot of people have asked me like why do you pump on it? You just breastfeed your baby. Well, for one, Kyla was a tiny baby. Um, she just did not latch properly. Um, she eventually did get used to latching, but then unfortunately a few weeks ago I did get COVID. So for like a whole almost two weeks my parents were bottle feeding her um even though the doctor gave me the okay to breastfeed i just didn't want to bring her in and out of the room especially since she's a newborn and she's having to eat like every two hours sometimes every hour so i didn't want her being exposed to me i wanted to isolate 100 percent, so we stuck to bottle feeding and unfortunately what happened was Kyla got used to the bottle um so right now I am pretty much exclusively pumping which mentally is very hard you know everyone always says like when your baby eats pump that way your body knows when to make milk and how much to make milk how much milk to make but obviously the hard thing about that is if my baby is hungry I'm gonna feed her first and so there are nights where I'm spending half an hour feeding, changing Kyla, and trying to get her back to bed. That's 30 minutes minimum. And then like after that, you know, whenever I get her back down to bed, I have to pump. So like I'm up for hours at a time, like hour, hour and a half at a time. And so I feel like I'm extra tired. But anyways, wow, this is a long intro. So I will check in. Okay, so um, I have finally was able to get Kyla to sleep it is literally if you can see the clock behind me maybe you can't it is three minutes after midnight you okay drink your water and go back to bed she's got to be up in six hours um hopefully she sleeps longer than 30 minutes but she's literally been crying for the last three hours now and yeah so i'm gonna put this go to bed and okay that's my cue to go <laughs> Thank you.
6.15, so I've just been fucking exhausted is what I've been. So, anyways, I'm gonna go take the in school. It doesn't matter how many times I drop the Vian off. It doesn't matter if it's the end of the school year. Still never wants to let me go. <laughs> now I have to go home because I have to pump. It's been a struggle trying to get a Kyla back on the boob because obviously it's a lot easier. But I'm just trying to think like maybe it's better this way that she prefers the bottle because. I remember with Vivian, when she was breastfed, it was hard to get her to transition to, like, a cup or a bottle. And so, I don't know, maybe it's easier this way. And maybe this is God's way of telling me, like, you need help with Kyla, so let her stay on the bottle so that people can help feed her. And that's one less thing you have to worry about. But it's the pumping, and it's just, it's hard when I don't have help with Kyla, and I have to both pump and feed her at the same time, because I can't do it. I have tried. I have um, two pumps, one that I'm plugged into the wall, and then one where I can just like wear it and be like, you know, move about the house, but it's just hard to do both things at once. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm just complaining a lot in this vlog, but it is what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go home, take some cold medicine, and see if I can squeeze a nap in somehow. home I'm going to pump and <clears throat> I know I said in the car that I was going to try and pump and then try and take a nap <clears throat> but <clears throat> one thing I hate about myself is once I'm up for the day I'm up for the day I can't go back to bed like I have to be really really sick or really really tired in which case I'm like I am starting to get sick again and I am exhausted but it's different when I'm like home alone but the fact that I can hear my baby crying in the living room like if my dad's gonna watch her while I take a quick nap then I can't nap so yeah but I don't know if I'm going to try to nap still so yeah we'll see what happens but let's pump and take it from there, one thing at a time. My space, when we could risk been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday. And nothing's changed. Mistakes that everyone is making, but I can't change. I'm stuck in reverse like an old.
finishing pumping that's when she woke up so it was a little bit of a hectic moment hectic moment um i'm taking dayquil because i'm feeling congested um it just thankfully it, just, it feels like it's just a head cold uh i don't feel it anywhere else besides up here i'm congested i've got a runny nose and i have a little bit of a cough Django, get out of there uh-uh but yeah, so I'm taking a second to drink the coffee that I just made, and yeah, for the most part, this is my day right now, especially since I'm not working yet. Um, it's definitely going to be an adjustment when I go back to work, because one, I'm going to be by myself now, and two, I'm going to have to somehow, I say this like I didn't already do it with Vivian, but especially since I, I'm with the same employer, but with Vivian, she was just a much easier baby. And I've, Kyla is, um, she's much more needier. Uh, she's fussier than Vivian was. Um, but I mean, I'm not complaining about that, but it's just, I definitely have to work really hard into finding my groove there when I get back to work because I'm gonna have to be up to take Vivian to school um go home get ready for the day get ready get Kyla ready for the day if I can and then start work and while I'm working obviously taking care of Kyla so that's the trickiest part about working from home is obviously you know like I could get a sitter but I mean I'm at home and I just don't find it I just, I, yeah, my, um, I am fortunate enough to work for a company to where they get it. Like, if you have kids at home, they get it. So, I, yeah, um, as long as you get the work done, that's all that really matters. And I'm just very happy that I work with, um, with this company. Because, I mean, that's why I've been with them for so long. It's because they're just so good to me. So, um, what was I going to say? But, yeah, this is my typical morning pretty much i i struggle usually starting around like three in the morning because that's about the time that i have to pump obviously feed kyla also because she's she's a newborn she's eating every two hours um so pump feed kyla change her diaper and then by the time i finish all that stuff it's pretty much time to get vivian up and ready for the day and from there it's just go 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 so the nap that i took in the morning earlier was not usually what I do um I'm usually just awake in the living room with Kyla but today I took advantage of the whole sleep when your baby sleeps you went poop -poo, not me yeah so, who did the bad poo poos huh who did the bad poo poos Kyla did the bad poo poos you did the bad poo poos are you done though Ooh. 